Happy Mother's Day. I don't think I ever told you about Levi's mother. Everybody called her Mama Mia. She was a very special lady. You see, Levi's dad had passed away when he was young. That's one of the reasons why he had to pick up a job cleaning barns. He was helping to put food on the table. Mama had raised he and his brothers and sisters. She did everything she could to provide. She washed laundry for other people. She baked things and sold them in the marketplace. She scrubbed floors, anything it took to help the family to survive. Mamma Mia was the kind of lady that although it often didn't look like she'd have enough for her own family, her table was always inviting to anybody who happened by especially if they themselves were in need. She often pretended like she wasn't even hungry so that there would be enough food for everyone else. Then she would eat whatever was left over on the plates while she was doing the dishes. Now that she was older and her children made sure she had everything that she needed, that kindness continued. She was, as the Bible would say, full of good works, a very kind woman. And as she would walk down the street, people would call out to her, Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia. She would smile and she would wave. Levi wanted to show his mom just how much he loved her and how thankful he was for the way she had taken care of him as he grew up. All those sacrifices, all those calluses on her hands and on her knees. So he tried to think, what could he do? What, would, what gesture would be sufficient? What gift would be enough? And so he thought, flowers, candy, a cake? None of that seemed good enough. Maybe a fancy piece of jewelry. No, jewelry just wasn't Mamma Mia's style. Besides, Levi knew that if he bought her something expensive, she'd sell it and use the money to do something good for somebody else. So what's he going to do? He went to his garden. He picked the prettiest flowers he could find. He went to the store and he bought a big bag of her favorite candy. And then Leah baked a peach pie. They took all of these things over to Mama Mia's house. She was so thankful for the gifts, but especially glad to see everyone. She said, those are the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. But Levi, why are you looking so sad, son? He said, oh, Mama, I wanted to bring you a special gift that would show you how much I love you. Love you for all those wonderful things you've done for me. Flowers, candy, even a pie could never be enough for the mother who held me through the night when I was sick or checked, checked on me through the hard times, cheered me up when I was sad or went to bed hungry just so there'd be plenty of food for me to eat. Mamma Mia pushed herself up on her cane from her chair. She hobbled over to where Levi stood. She wrapped her arms around him. Son, I don't need flowers, candy, and a pie. Fine gifts that they are. Nobody bakes a pie like our Leah. No. My reward is in having a son that has grown into a fine man that loves God and is always doing kind things for other people. You have made me the most proud mama in all of Bethlehem. As she wrapped her arms around him, Levi drew in a deep breath through his nose and he smelled that special mama aroma she smelled clean 
absolutely clean with just a hint of cinnamon. She had been making cinnamon rolls that morning, which, of course, she brought out and shared one with everyone, even Benjamin. Well, you know what Benjamin said when he got his cinnamon roll? Hee-haw! Of course. What else would a donkey say? And you know, that's exactly what every mother wants for Mother's Day. Children she can be proud of. Boys and girls who are polite, kind, and love Jesus with all of their heart. Proverbs chapter 31, verses 28 and 29 read, Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Father, help us as we look into your word today and as we attempt to honor motherhood and our mothers in particular. May your anointing rest on this message, on this time, and on each of our ladies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus said, if you want to be great in God's kingdom, learn to be the servant of all. I don't know if I can think of any greater servants than mothers. The way they give, the things that they do, and all so naturally, all so lovingly, even when we don't respond as well as they deserve. That principle, if you want to be great, learn to be the servant of all. It works in the kingdom of God. It works in every kingdom. It works in your family. If you want to be great, if you want to be loved, serve others. Put them first. Many people become successful as this world measures success, wealth, power, position. Being a success and being great can be two very different things. If you want to be great, serve. Serve and you will become successful as God measures success. There are many choices. Work at home, work from home, work outside the home. Each choice has its benefits and its challenges. If our goal is to raise fine men and women of God, that requires a lot more than clothes on their back, food on their plate, and a full social calendar. It requires love. Fortunately, each mother become, comes preloaded with a special kind of love. As soon as her eyes meets that newborn baby's eyes, it's over. A bond has been formed, an unbreakable bond that will last for the rest of their lives. She will do for this child things she never imagined doing for others. She will do for this child things she's never done for herself. She will do for this child, regardless of the cost. She will rise to each occasion. Fevers, splinters, bullies, spiders, science projects, physical therapy, allergy treatments, swimming lessons, whatever it takes, she's there. In her quest to grow them, she will become twice the person ever she was on her own. Making the children happy will be her happiness. Helping them achieve success will be her victory. She finally memorizes her multiplication tables, teaching them to the children. She learns to love reading, hoping that they'll catch the bug. When mothers see their children cry, 
they cry. When they stand triumphant, she cries. When they rebel, she cries. When they repent, she cries. Motherhood transports women into another dimension. She all but becomes another member of the Trinity. It's a cosmic mystery to know how a lady can be so giving, so loving, so sacrificing, yet go unnoticed by the rest of the world and often unappreciated by her own. Did you know that over 300,000 women died in complications to pregnancy and giving birth last year? That's, 300, that's 830 women a day. 830 women a day. Believe it or not, your mother risked her life to give you yours. And the cost didn't stop at birth. <laughs> it just began. Sleep deprived nights, divided attention, saps on strength, time, abilities. Mom met our laziness with motivation, our frustration with calm, our rebellion with discipline, and our sadness with cheer. A good mother is sometimes feared, sometimes a mystery, but always loved. A good mother will often kiss your pain away and occasionally lay one across your backside that would make Babe Ruth proud. A good mother has a great command of facial expressions. They'll let you know from across the room when it, you better straighten up when it's time to go or when you're on point and doing well. A good mother's voice can be heard even when she's nowhere in sight. A good mother fears only God and instills that fear in each of her children. Proverbs 31 ends with these words. A woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Honor her for all that her hands have done and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. Mom, this is your day. We honor you for all you are and for all that you've done. None of us would be here without a mother, and I mean that in so many ways. Give your mother what she's always wanted today. Be a person that honors God, is kind to others, and makes her proud. If you're proud of the lady in your household, uh, give her a hug today. Let her know what's been hidden in your heart for too long. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. God loves you, and so do we. Amen. Father, thank you for these ladies that you've put in our lives, mothers, wives, daughters. Precious is everyone, beautiful, soft, loving and kind. We pray your anointing on them today. Bless them, strengthen them, help them, God. Let them feel your touch and your presence. May they hear even today, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Because if you want to be great in God's kingdom, you have to learn to be the servant of all. So many of our ladies have learned that in such depth. Bless them today, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> amen. God bless. Happy Mother's Day. And I hope to see you again soon.